Molly Burnham has had a lifetime fascination with food. In 2005, she was determined that this interest was something she wanted to pursue. When I was in college, I fell in love with food, with cooking, with uh, being by the stove, with bringing people together into my kitchen and, and feeding them. I read more cookbooks than I did textbooks. I was obsessed. I knew that's what I wanted to be, a chef. Molly got her first job as a trainee and was in her element. I would get home in the wee hours of the morning smelling like veal stock and butter and the fat from the deep fryer, uh, but I, I loved it and knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life doing. She had found her purpose and was about to enroll in the Culinary Institute of America. This is what I wanted to do. This was the first of many steps toward becoming a chef, something that I loved and knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life doing. Um, but then one morning in August, I went for a jog. It was a drizzly morning, it was an early morning, and I was hit by a car. Molly had multiple injuries, including a broken pelvis and a fractured skull. Slowly, her body began to heal, but the head trauma she had suffered started to reveal other damage. It was a month before I realized that something else was wrong. Uh, and that happened when my, my stepmother, Cindy, baked an apple crisp. It's one of my favorite desserts. The scent of that dessert is just one of the most beautiful things I think that exists with the cinnamon and the butter and the fruit. Uh, but when she pulled it out of the oven, everyone in the room was ooing and aahing over this smell. And she held it underneath my face so I could inhale and I could feel the steam in my nose, which was warm and thick, but there was no smell whatsoever. In that moment, she realized she had lost her sense of smell. I could feel the texture of the crisper topping. I could feel the temperature. I could just feel them in my mouth, this mush, sweet mush, but everything that made it apple crisp. And the flavor that I loved and recognized and remembered, it was, was gone. It was just nothingness. In fact, her sense of taste was not damaged. So she could taste sweet and sour, for instance. But because she couldn't smell, there was no flavor to enjoy. I relied on texture, on temperature, on, on the visuals of food. Two bowls of ice cream, chocolate and vanilla, without looking at the color, they would taste exactly the same to me. Eating meat was flavorless texture blob. Some of it felt like eating cardboard. I put hot sauce on anything and everything because it at least gave me tingles, which was better than nothing. But I was uninterested in all of it.